didn't see you there. I guess I should uh, show you where I keep my boards. You guys were looking at the Columbia River. This is the Columbia River before they put the dams in. That's where we windsurf now. But uh, this was, I think, like back in the 40s or something. Plus minus 25 years, something like that. Anyways, now there are no rapids and stuff on the Columbia River, so we can windsurf on it. And hence, we are here, and this is where we keep the boards that we windsurf on the river with. Well, they're all in board bags. I'll show you what's in there in a second. Um, but, generally, this is where we keep the booms. This is where I keep some sails and some masts. Um, we have some more sails. The larger ones are back here. Kind of hidden behind the, the biking bag. We got a beginner board. You never know when you want to teach somebody. Somebody comes over or some family's over and they want to learn to windsurf. We take them out on this. Look in the action. Look at that speed. Jeez. Oh, killing it. Got a couple slalom boards, the Isonics. Got some Ignites, 93 and 103, the freestyle boards. That's what I use the most. And then, uh, and then the Ultra Code for the big waves. Um, or big days on the river when it's, you know, blowing for 3.7, 3.5, 3.2. That's what I use um, on those days for jumping and riding the waves and also for the coast. Um, yeah, when we go to the coast, we also have a couple boards up here for, uh, for surfing. They're the, uh, we didn't go stand-up paddle surfing. Um, the water's pretty cold on the Oregon coast, so stand-up paddle surfing works out well. Um, I use an 8-2 starboard wide point, and that's my wife's board right next to it. And then, you know, of course, we need the gears, so I got a fin bag full of fins. Um, it's funny that we have a fin bag full of fins. I mostly just use my 18 centimeter freestyle fin. That's what I use pretty much every day, but just in case I have a bag full of fins. Um, then we have a bag full of extensions and bases and another bag full of extensions and bases and spare parts. It's just easy, you know, you just throw a couple boards in the van, take the bag um, or two bags from here and you're set, you're good to go. Um, Besides that, a couple toys here, um, summer and winter wheels. So we have the summer wheels up here right now for the cars. This is our camping box. We just take the whole box, throw it in the van, and we have you know our whole kitchen, spices, everything for camping is ready to go. It makes doing coast trips really easy. You just take the box, the stove, and the axe, and the, and the boards, and you're set. Um, some gardening stuff, tennis, we like to play tennis from, uh, from time to time. It's a good alternate activity when it's not windy. We got some bike shoes. This is how we stay warm on the cold days. So, you know, all the neoprene, different thicknesses. Um, a box down here full of gloves and boots and harnesses, things like that. And we have a bunch of tools. And then here we have some of the winter toys, some of the ski setups. Um, looks like we have a lot, but uh, to be honest with you, half of this is just my brother's stuff. <laughs> Our stuff is just the skis on the left. And yeah, and then we got a couple of uh, triple board bags up here for the, uh, for the airplane travel. So we just pull those down, load them up with boards, sails, masts, booms, and hop on the plane. The airport's uh, about an hour away from here in Portland. And, uh, and then we just got a couple mountain bikes for the mountain biking. Sometimes we drive to the trail, sometimes we bike straight from home, depends where we go. Um, this is my bike here, it's a uh, 
NS Bikes Eccentric 29, it's a hardtail. Um, that's what I ride the most. Um, my wife's bike, a little more downhill and action oriented. Yeah, and that's it. Um, oh, very important here is uh, my gym. Yes, as you notice, there's no car in the garage. That's because we use it for many things, including, including our workouts. Yeah. So I'm often in here in the mornings. I'll set up my, uh, my suspension trainer here. And you know, along with the, along with the floor space, the suspension trainer and pull-up bar, um, it's a pretty good gym setup. I call it the home gym. Don't spend time traveling anywhere. I can just work out in here, and uh, when the weather's good, spend it outside doing all the sports. Yeah, thanks for watching. So I pulled out some of the boards out of the bags for you so you can see these beauties. Um, they're all blue, looking good. Um, these are the boards that I ride the most. So I have the, uh, the uh, larger, one of the larger Isonics, the 77 is what I ride a lot. Um, in lighter winds when I'm slalom racing. We have the Gorge Cup out here in a pretty gusty spot, so I'll ride that the most. And then uh, most of the days I'm on this guy here, the uh, Ignite 93. That's my baby, that's what I ride day in, day out. Um, on the lighter wind days, I'll grab this one, which is the 103. And um, yeah, you know, just uh, ready to go whenever the wind's up. As you can see, it got a little uh, special blue strap on the back of this one that makes it a little faster, you know. Always gotta change up the colors. The black straps on the big board for a light wind performance, and the blue straps on the high wind freestyle board for uh, good control. Definitely the keys to success.